Hello fellow doll lovers, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. This video is part two of the ginormous thrift store haul. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will put it down in the link. And if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click on that and watch part one. Go ahead and do that. I can wait. All right. I assume you've done it if you haven't seen it already. And I'm going to go ahead and get on with the next dolls. The last doll I showed you guys was this Draculaura. And... The next one is this Mycene doll. She is also a beautiful blonde. Her hair hardly needs any work at all. I just maybe am thinking about putting it in like a half, half up, half down or something. And her face is also very, very beautiful and it's in perfect shape. I don't believe this dress belongs to her though. It's a floor length ball gown. Well, not quite floor length, but she does have her shoes and that is a good thing. She does have her shoes. I wish that they didn't have shoes like this. I wish they had regular Barbie shoes because they look rather like brat shoes, but that's okay with me. I'd rather have her with shoes than no shoes. And yeah. Next doll is this Barbie. I don't know who she is, but I thought she was cute. And I like how she has like some like red tints to her hair. You can't really see it, but it kind of looks like the, my backdrop. It has like that sort of tint to it when you hold it up to the light. And she, I think she might be a fairy considering like her body type and her feet. And she does have a nice face. It really doesn't need that much work. It's very unique too. I really like it. That's why I bought her. Next is this doll. I don't know what type of doll she is. Is she a Barbie? I don't know because she's short. See, here's a regular Barbie doll. I haven't shown you this one yet. But look at how short she is. She's really short. And she has long red hair and done in a really cool hairstyle. And she has on this jacket, hold on, there's a necklace too, with a gold necklace with a peace sign on it and capri jeans with rhinestones. And she had shoes, but she's just wearing socks right now. Let me know if you know which doll this is because I really want to know because she's really kind of cool. She has a really neat face. Let me know if you can tell me. So the next doll is going to be this Liv doll. I think this is her outfit, but she doesn't have a wig, but that's okay because I found one back in Mississippi during my ballet intensive, and you, if you haven't seen any of those videos, go back and watch all the vacation videos that you haven't seen. Sorry, um, I digress. She has her outfit, I think. I think this is hers. It's a green jacket with a striped shirt and pants. The next doll is this Fashion Fever Barbie still in the box. She is very pretty and she has really cool hair like all those tiny braids and stuff. It's really cool. I'm going to take her out of the box. I'm going to go ahead and take her out so that you guys can see her a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will see you guys whenever I get through with taking her out. Alright, I finally got her out and she is really cool. I really like her hair. It's got streaks in it and little braids and she has a really neat face and she has this floral top with the silver belt and this white skirt, this right ruffly skirt, and this pair of really cute pink shoes, and this pink flower purse. She is really cute. I really like her a lot, and I'm really glad that I found her. Um, next doll is this Disney doll. It's Prince Charming from Snow White. I don't have him yet. He is missing his boots and his pants, because I don't believe that these are his, but he does have his top on. And he's actually in really good condition. His face and his head is all nice. Next doll is another Mycene doll. I have a whole, whole bunch of them. This one is a very pretty redhead. I think that this might be my second favorite redhead. Her hair is very, very frizzy and tangled, like, right here. But I think I'm going to name her Leona. Just because I think that she kind of reminds me of a lion with her hair for some reason. And... She has really cool hair and a really cool face. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to talk about this in part one, but if you have seen it, then you'll have seen this one too, hopefully. Um, if you guys have any ideas for names for these dolls, put them in the comments because I have a whole bunch of new dolls to name. And so if you guys have any cool name ideas, except for her because her name is Leona, let me know in the comments and give me all of your name ideas. I'd love to hear them. Okay, but anyway, back to Leona. She has a very nice face. I don't think this dress belongs to her, but she does have on her really cute pair of shoes. And I'm really excited about her. 
Next, it kind of looks like she has the same hair color as her. They have very similar hair colors. This is a very pretty Barbie. I bought her because she has a very cool face. I like her face. It's very, very unique and pretty. Her hair is very long and red, and it just needs, it's just kind of tangled and frizzy, just like Leona's. So it just needs a brush and a conditioning and a restyling. And I did not buy her for her outfit at all. I think I will keep her shoes, but not her, not her velvet jogging sweatpants or this pink crop top but I really do like her. She has really pretty green eyes and dark lips, and I like dark lips a lot. Okay, next is this one and this one. I found Annalise and Erica from the Princess and the Popper series. Erica is in great condition. She has her dress, though her dress does have a stain on the front. Let me see, my lighting is really messing up. There you go, you can see it right there. There's also a stain right there and on the back right right there her hair is matted but not too frizzy it just needs a really good brush and she does have her necklace and the only issue with her face is that she has a smudge here and here now as far as for Annalise her her hair is even worse it's just really gross feeling it feels just really grubby and it's also frizzy so it needs a brush and a conditioning and maybe curls she might need to have her hair recurled but she does have her necklace and I don't think this is her dress actually I know this isn't her dress but her dress is cute it's a de um, a gingham a green gingham dress and I do like her pink boots they are cute next doll is another my scene boy he I think this might be his outfit though his pants do look a little ill-fitting they're a little too short and they're too big for him but I think they might be his pants anyway. He has on this really nice top and a pair of these really sh awesome pair of shoes. And he came with orange sunglasses, though I seem to have misplaced those. His hair I needs a trim and a conditioning. But other than that, he's all good and his face is all good. I'm excited to add those two boys to my collection because before I only had River, which was, the fr which was I found him a while ago in another thrift store haul. But then, here is a, another Barbie. She is pretty. I think this is the dress she came in. Her dress isn't in that great of condition, but I really liked it. It's fraying right there, and it's getting threadbare. Where are you? Right there. It's getting threadbare right there. And it's all kind of just wrinkled, and there are, like, threads flying everywhere. But hopefully, I will be able to fix it, because I really want to keep this dress and then give her a gold or silver necklace and put her hair in like this beautiful updo. I think it would look really nice if, because she has these really pretty green eyes and red lips and her hair is just frizzy and tangled and it just needs a good conditioning and a brush. Keep going. Next doll is another Barbie. She is this really pretty fairy. Her hair has been cut because I can assume that it came in a hairstyle like this. I have three of them. Where's the purple? There she is. So I think they all came in the same hairstyle because you can see that there used to be a part right here. But I actually do kind of like it short. I think once I even it out and smooth it, I think it'll actually look like a really cute pixie cut. I think I'll like it. And she does not have her outfit. She's missing her wings, her molded top, and her little skirt. But she does have the very nice yellow molded legs and she has really a really pretty face. Since I already have the fairy Barbies out, I might as well keep going. She is perfect, she needs no work. She has the flowers in her hair, her molded top, her skirt, but she doesn't have her wings. She's missing her wings, and if she's meant to have shoes, she doesn't have shoes, but she is just so, so beautiful. The last of those fairy dolls is purple. I think, I don't know what I'm going to name her, but I'm going to try and name these after Jewel Tone. So I think she might be Amethyst. She might be awfully, obviously Sapphire. And she might be Jade or something. I don't know. But I want to name them after like that because they. I just think that would be good. Her hair, I don't want to take it out of its original style, but I'm going to try and recreate it. I. It's just kind of like, it's just kind of coming out. So it needs to be redone so it's a little bit more neat. But she also has her top and her skirt, but no shoes and no wings. She is very beautiful. She has really awesome red hair and a really pretty face as well. I love how they all have eyelashes. 
And then here is another Mycene doll. This is my favorite Mycene doll out of all the ones I've found. She is so beautiful. Look at her face. It's so pretty. She also has a really awesome color hair and a really awesome hairstyle and an awesome pair of earrings. I don't think this dress is hers, but it actually is very nice. She doesn't have any shoes either. Next doll is this one. And this one has a wonderful story behind her. Before, long before I started doing my YouTube channel, I found her, not this this exact doll, but this doll at a thrift store. And I didn't, I still don't know what doll line they're from, but I really, really liked them because they had a really cool face and they had a different body type and they had big feet. And the only issue with her is that she, her hair was completely cut off. And I was really devastated because she has a vinyl head. Her head is vinyl, and so I didn't want to try and reroute because I didn't want to, like, damage her. And so now here she is with her hair. And let me know if you know which doll line she is from. On the back, it says MGA Entertainment Incorporated right here. And then it also says 22309ELE -E or L. It's... I don't know what she is, but I have two other dolls from this line. One of them is African American, and then the other one has brown hair. But I really want to find out what line they're from, because I really do like them. Next doll is another Disney doll, I think. I think this is Mulan. I think, I think so, but she has a really cool face. I think it's when she was like a geisha or whatever, because her hair, she has a lot of makeup on, and she has her red bow in her hair. But she, her feet are also strange. Like, they aren't like the regular Disney Barbie feet. I think that they were molded to fit her shoes better or something. But she is so unique and pretty, and I really like her a lot. Next doll is a, another Barbie. I also bought her for, one, her dress, and two, she is articulated, so she is also going to be a body donor. I think I might keep her, though, because she has a really cool hairstyle. I think she's supposed to be pretty fancy. Her, she's a hot mess though. Her updo is very messed up, but I think I can be able to fix it. She's very nice. Next is another Mycene doll. This one is also a redhead. I don't think this dress belongs to her though. It is a nice dress though. I am going to keep the dress, but her hair is almost perfect. It hardly needs any work at all. It's super soft and smooth and it only needs a very light brush and her face is also perfect. She has a really nice face as well. Then there's this Barbie. She is so cool. I think she's meant to light up if you do something. I don't know, but it like there's like it looks like there are lights that spin. I don't know. Is there a button somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, there is a button. Oh, it lights up. Oh, how cool. It lights up, but does it spin? Is it supposed to spin? I don't know if it's supposed to spin or not. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to spin or not. I don't know. It might, I think it might, might like spin, but it isn't spinning. But she is very pretty. She has a really pretty face and a crown and a purple metallic star top and a blue metallic star skirt. She doesn't have any shoes, but I can easily find her a pair of blue or silver shoes. She's very pretty. Next doll is another Mycene doll. This one is one of my favorites. She has a gorgeous face. She... Her face is all good, except she has, like, a mark here, here, and here. Hopefully I will be able to get it off. Her hair is just very matted, but I don't think I'm going to brush it out because it'll ruin her curls. I think I'll just, like, try and, like, twist them around my fingers to make them better. And I don't think this dress belongs to her because it has the Barbie logo on it. But it is a really pretty Barbie skater dress. I have a pink version of this, actually. Yeah. Keep going. Let's go quicker. Okay. Here's another Barbie fairy. Okay, so this one also has another story behind her. My very, I think my second or my first thrift store haul where I took you guys into the thrift stores with me, I got a comment after I saw this doll and decided not to get her, and my, the person that commented was like, oh my gosh, why didn't you get her? And it was just because, like, I already had gotten so many other dolls in that haul that I had to put her back, but hopefully my so my commenter's mind will be put to rest because here she is it's alina and she has these big beautiful wings and she doesn't have her skirt or her like i don't know if she's meant to have shoes but she has very really pretty feet i like the way her feet sort of like point as a dancer i like it when feet are pointed but her hair is is a hot mess it just needs 
work. It needs a good, she needs a good day at the spa. It needs to be brushed and stuff. But she does have a very good face. Her face is all good. I love the real eyelashes. Next is another Mycene doll. This is my second favorite Mycene doll. She is so beautiful. She has real eyelashes. Her hair only needs a very, very slight brushing. Her hairstyle is so cool. It's like braids at the top. She has these dagger-like silver earrings. And her face is all good, except there's like this light purple mark right there. And I don't think that that's supposed to be there. She has a very pretty face, and I don't think that this outfit belongs to her. Though I might keep it, just because the tank top is very nice. Next doll, I'm almost done. I only have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I only have 10 left, so I'm going to try and move this along. This one I am super, super excited about. It's Jane from Tarzan, and I do have her dress back at my house in Texas, and I never thought I'd be able to find her either because she's really rare, and she's so, so pretty. I can easily put her hair up in its, like, its messy bun. I'm really excited. She's very pretty. She has a very nice face. She doesn't have an outfit, but as I said before, I do have her outfit. Next is this doll. I don't know who she is, but I have the feeling, I don't know. I don't know who she is, but I like her crown a lot, and she does have an interesting face, and I'm probably not going to keep her dress because, I, as I said, I really don't like pink that much, and it's pretty at powder pink. Blech. But anyway, there, her hair is very, very, very tangled. It needs help. But anyway, that's besides the point. Her face is all good, too. Let me know if you know who this is. Next is another Mycene doll. This one is really, really cool. Her face can change expressions. So right now, it's pushed on the one where her mouth opens. There are these dials in the back, and whichever one you push on, it shows. So right now, this is like the neutral face. So here we go. There is angry or sad, happy, I don't know what this one is, maybe like flirtatious, I don't know. And then there's surprised, and then I like this one the best. It's a smile with her mouth open. She's very, very pretty. She can't move her head at all, but she is really cool. She's a My Scene doll, I think. And I think her hair is supposed to come in like pigtails or braids or something because it's parted in the back. And it's very curly and pretty. And she has bangs that are supposed to like come to the side, but they're pretty messed up. She does have a gold cuff bracelet, but she doesn't have anything else, but I can easily find her an outfit. But I just think that that's so unique. Her face is really dirty, though. Her face needs, like, a lot of, like, fixing. And it's also weird that you can, like, poke holes in her face. But anyway, next doll, this one is Rayla the Cloud Queen from Magic of Pegasus. And this one has an awesome story behind her, too. I found this doll at a thrift store, and I did a huge restoration, customization video on her, and I didn't know who she was, so I should completely, like, customized her. I gave her a custom hairstyle, I gave her a new, I gave her an articulated body, I pierced her ears, I gave her this long white gown, but then I found out who she was, and it turned out that I already had Rayla's dress before I bought the doll, and I was really torn whether to undo all the customizing that I did and put her back in her original dress and try and make her look like the original or keep her in her customized state. But now I have this one who has her crown and I can put the dress on her and I'll have two versions. And I'm really excited about that and also she comes with this really awesome rainbow mermaid tail which is a plus. Okay, we're coming to the very end. This doll also has a wonderful story behind her. This one is more wonderful than most of the other ones. This Mycene doll I found two years ago, and she was the first Mycene doll I ever found, and I was so excited to find her, and I was pretty young, I think I was only like 12, and I made the stupid decision to try and give her a total repaint. I ruined her face, obviously, and I felt so stupid because I tried it on such a rare doll, a Mycene doll, plus one I really liked, and I didn't know if I'd ever find her again, and yet here she is, she's really pretty. I really like her really vibrant eyes and her super sparkly lips. Her hair is pretty tangled, but it doesn't really need that much work. And she doesn't have any clothes on, but I can easily find her an outfit. Last five dolls. There is this one, and I'm not going to use her as a body donor, even though she is articulated. I just really like her. She has a really cool hair color, and I like the dark, dark-ish lips. She also has a really awesome outfit and a hair bow and a pair of pink shoes. 
She's almost in perfect condition. Her hair just needs to be brushed. It doesn't even need to be washed or anything. She's in really good condition. Last four dolls. Here is another Mycene doll. I don't think this dress belongs to her, and for some reason, the person who put it on her didn't even put her arms in the sleeves. But she is in really good shape, too. Her hair is still in its original style. I think these strands are supposed to be in, like, in front of her face, and the rest of it's supposed to be back. Um, it's, it needs just a brush. It's not that frizzy. It just needs a brush, and her face is all good. Next doll is this Barbie, and I bought her because she had a very unique face. She kind of looks Egyptian to me. She's really pretty. And her arms are also posable, as you can see. Her arms are posable. You can bend them however you want, and that's just a very awkward position. Better undo that. And the rest of her isn't, though. She just has bend and snap knees, and her back isn't. So it's just her arms, which I find a little bit weird. But she does have this nice dress on, too, and I don't know if it's hers or not. But she has red star earrings, and her hair just needs a brush and a restyling. Then there is this Barbie, and she is so pretty. I love her. I think she might be Irish, but she is really, really pretty. Unfortunately, her hair is so matted, I don't know if it's salvageable. But I'm really, really going to try very hard. Her face is also pretty dirty, but it's just kind of dirty. It needs just, like, maybe some soap on her face. She has on this little silver necklace, and she has flexed feet. It looks like some naughty dog or cat got into her, and she also has a whole bunch of grime on her legs. The very last doll I got is this blonde Mycene doll, and she her hair is almost perfect. It only needs a very, very slight brush, and... It's really nice. She has these hoop earrings, and I don't know if this bathrobe belongs to her, but it is really nice. I wonder if it has the Mycene inside. Let's see if I can find it. Let's see. Is it Mycene? Nope, it's Barbie. And she also has on, like, the silver chain around her waist. So, yeah, that is all of the dolls I found. And I'm going to do a part three because there's a whole bunch of clothes and accessories that I have to show you guys. And I'm going to change the camera angle so that you can see it a little bit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that. And so don't go away. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and change the camera angle and get up my get everything all set up so that you guys can see all the awesome clothes, shoes, purses, headbands, and furniture that I found. So I will be right back.